In today's travel video, we're going to compare two different water parks here. We're going to look at Discovery Cove and SeaWorlds Aquatica and show you guys footage from both parks to help you decide which one is better. Okay, next up, this is Discovery Cove. And if I'm being quite honest here, this is my favorite of all the water parks in Orlando. Now, it is a different type of feeling. Um, it's not a hustle bustle type of water park or uh, if you could even call it a water park it's more of like a water experience but uh, this will give you a glimpse of what to expect if you decide to go to discovery cove which i highly recommend now what you're seeing here is footage that i took when i um, brought my gopro here to discovery cove and i took my gopro so that way i could capture some underwater footage uh, what I was not expecting, though, is that they have two different types of uh, bodies of water here. They do have a fresh water, like Lazy River, which is just beyond beautiful. It's tropical. Uh, there's birds that fly overhead. And then they have a body of water that is salt water. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind as you're making plans. It does have two different types of water here. Uh, lots of sand, as you can see, all the way around the um, resort. If it is a resort or a water park, I'm not quite sure what to call this thing. But um, I did find out as I was walking through the sand, it was pretty hot. So, you know, keep that in mind. You might want to wear some Crocs or water shoes. Um, you're not going to travel very fast in that sand because it is pretty thick. Um, but lots of places to sit. And what I did find on this particular day that we went is it wasn't real packed. Um, I don't know that this particular place gets uh, real real busy unless you're going during like spring break spring break or one of those busy times but right here this is um where people are going into some of the lazy river um, as you can see they you have different types of things that you can wear you can wear like a vest that is like a floaty or you can wear like a a wetsuit so uh, discovery cove does provide those two different types of things that you can wear at no extra cost it just comes with the price of the ticket uh, one of the great things about discovery cove is it's all inclusive so food is free here it comes with the admission price um, and then they got like snacks along the way that you can um you know load up on unlimited snacks they got like uh, slushies and like nachos and chips and just all kinds of things uh, it's very tropical as you see all the palm trees that are around here a uh, very beautiful uh, environment and um yeah it's, it's a pretty cool resort um friendly staff if you got any kind of questions um they'll answer any kind of questions that you have there is a um throughout the way or periodically they do have sunscreen stations so that way you can apply uh sunblock in case you are one of those kind of people that get burnt real easy um, one of the awesome things about the saltwater portion, which is right here, is you can see that uh, some people put snorkels or have those goggles on and they go snorkeling and the fish come right up to you. And uh, that was a really cool experience, especially if you're <clears throat> somebody like me who likes to capture underwater footage and can take a GoPro or a camera underwater. But yeah, this is um, a beautiful resort. They do have like a, a bird watching, uh, like a little area where there you could go inside and it is netted and it's got a roof on there and there are birds that will come and fly right up to you. <clears throat> Sometimes they'll even fly right up to your shoulder. Uh, there was one that landed right on a girl's uh, head when we were here, so that was pretty funny. Um, they do have a couple different restaurants as you come in for breakfast. Uh, they will serve you breakfast, and then at lunchtime, uh, you can you have a lot of time. I think it's like two hours where you can go and get lunch. Uh, this resort does close at like 5 p.m., um, but it does open early, so you do get plenty of time here. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, man, I wish it was open later, but um, if you do arrive during opening time, you're here at plenty enough hours. And um, what are some other information that I need to pass on yeah no I, I definitely recommend this resort of all the um, water options in Orlando this one is a little more pricey but included in that 
you do get your food, so you got to kind of account for that. But um, I remember talking to one of the, the people that worked here, and um, he said that this is more of a water experience. And, you know, a lot of people um, only get to do it once in their lifetime. And um, he worked there and told me he had never got to do the touristy thing. He's only just worked there, and he's never got to experience it. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I would think these people would get free tickets, but evidently they don't. People come at all all times of year. Um, I would talk to one of the workers, and they said that people come in January even. So I guess all weather, depending on how hot it is. But if you get a chance, definitely visit Discovery Cove. It's my favorite of all the places in Orlando. And it's more of a relaxed atmosphere, as you can see from all the footage I took here. It's not a hustle-bustle type of uh, place. I mean, you have plenty of room to walk around and swim and just feel like you're on vacation in, in paradise. So that's probably the best way to describe this particular resort or water park is it's paradise. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of the video. Hopefully... This gave you a general idea of what to expect for Discovery Cove. Okay, next up we're going to take a look at Aquatica, and this is all the footage that I took from walking around this whole park here, so that way you guys can get a glimpse of uh, what the whole layout looks like. But um, I do say that Aquatica has the best lazy river of all the places that I have been to here in Florida, and um, I think I'll just let this play out and uh, show you guys a walkthrough of this water park.
some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite
Mike. 